This afternoon, a Kentucky prosecutor decided to drop a felony charge against a young Minneapolis attorney and civil rights leader. Leslie Redmond is the president of the Minneapolis NAACP. She went to Kentucky to protest the death of Breonna Taylor, who was killed by police in Louisville on March 13th. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains how, while in Kentucky, Redmond experienced something she never had before. What made you want to make the trip to Kentucky? I didn't want to make the trip to Kentucky. I felt like I had to make the trip to Kentucky. 26-year-old EMT Brianna Taylor was in her Louisville bed when police shot her eight times in an attempt to drug sting. For 28-year-old Leslie Redmond, Minneapolis NAACP president, this was personal. Being a young black woman and thinking about my own mom and if I had been murdered in my own home. So she traveled south to join several dozen protesters on the lawn of the county attorney prosecuting the case to ask for tougher penalties. Then Leslie herself was penalized, arrested on a felony charge. I've never even had a speeding ticket, nevertheless a mugshot, right? And to have to completely throw away my clean record that I've worked my whole life on, um, but yet it still feels like a small sacrifice because it wasn't my life. She says she remembers and appreciates how Brianna's mom came to Minneapolis in the wake of George Floyd's death. And she says Brianna needs justice too. It was vital that I stood in solidarity and stood up for black women because I'm constantly setting up for black men. And I don't think that our brutality is always documented. The felony charge was dropped Friday, but Leslie, an attorney and MBA grad, now has a record. But she says she's in good company. Look at it, a lot of saints a lot of um, civil rights activists had to have mugshots and had to go to prison and had to, you know, fighting for justice and doing what's right is, you know, it don't always feel good. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Leslie is due in court in Kentucky in October. She faces two misdemeanors. One of the officers in the Breonna Taylor case has been fired. It is not clear what will happen to the others involved.